Holy awe. Have you ever had holy awe? Should we have at all times holy awe before God? I want to draw your attention this morning to Luke chapter 5 and Peter and a miraculous catch of fish. You'll remember that Jesus entered into Galilee in chapter 4, that at the synagogue uh, in his hometown Nazareth, he preaches from Isaiah, mentions uh, Elijah and Elisha, and they try to kill him. He simply continues on and goes to another synagogue in Capernaum. Then he heals Peter's mother-in-law. In both cases, it mentions how his power is supreme. He rebuked the evil spirits, and he rebuked the fever. Then he heals a number of people, and again, he uses Luke uses the term rebuke. At the end of the chapter, he goes to a lonely place. They find him, and he says, We must go into other cities. I must preach the kingdom of God there. That's why I was sent. Then, as chapter 5 begins, Jesus is teaching the word of God. That's always the central thing beside a lake. Some fishermen are drying their nets, and Jesus turns to Peter and says, Go out again and let down your nets for a catch. Peter says, We fished all night and caught nothing. Who's the expert on fishing? Is it Peter who's fished his whole life virtually, or Jesus the carpenter? Well, Peter gives in and he catches a huge supply of fish. What does he do next? Does he say, Jesus, you and I should go in the fishing business. We will dominate the Sea of Galilee. Or does he say, has anyone gotten a picture of this? I'm, let's put it on TikTok. I'm just joking about that because obviously they didn't have cell phones. Or does he say something like, who is this man? No, Peter's response is telling. It says amazement sees them because of the catch of fish. And he comes and bows before Jesus and says, depart from me, I'm a sinful man. The display of Jesus' power leads Peter to tremble over his own sinfulness. Holy awe. That's no accident and no one-time thing, because in the Bible it's common for people to tremble before God and his power. There's the case in the book of Exodus when the burning bush uh, appears to Moses and he sees it and, and it says Moses was afraid to look at God. Or in Exodus 19, the people trembled at Mount Sinai. Or in Jesus' own life, there in chapter 4 of Mark, after Jesus calms the storm, it says the disciples were terrified. They're more, more terrified after he calms the storm than they are before the storm. Or there's the famous case in Mark chapter 10, where Jesus is simply going to Jerusalem and the people are struck with awe or amazement. Or how about this? Years after Jesus has died, mid raised from the dead, he appears to John on the Isle of Patmos in Revelation chapter 1, and John becomes like a dead man. You say, well, that's just some people. Well, in Isaiah chapter 6, the Lord gives a vision to Isaiah, and Isaiah, the most righteous man in the land, the spokesman for God, says he's a man of unclean lips. Yes, the presence and power of God creates a holy awe, where we recognize our own sinfulness, the depths of it, the dimensions of it, and even tremble before God. But maybe that's a good thing. In Psalm 2, it talks about how believers are to rejoice with trembling. We don't normally put those two together, rejoice with trembling. Or in Psalm 96, it says, tremble before the Lord all the earth. Yes, the distance between God and us is so great that though God's love is definitely part of God's character, we must stand in holy awe before God. That's what the disciples did. That's what people who have been close to God did. And that enables them to be fearless before humans because they tremble before God in holy awe. This is not just any teacher from Nazareth. This is Jesus, the Son of the Most High God. Bless his name. Hope you're doing well. This is your daily devotional for Thursday, March 23rd. 
read your Bible and pray every day. Seek first the kingdom of God. Pray for the church. Pray for me. Seek to bring believers to Christ. Pray for our Easter services and our family fun day. And look forward to seeing you Sunday at worship and Wednesday nights at Bible study. God bless you as you serve him.